Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do, or I'm gonna do this purple and blue smoky eye, okay? Um, I had like a request to do this, so that's why I decided to do this one. Um, and this is kind of like what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if y'all can see that too great, but that's what it's kind of supposed to look like. But it's a little different, but you know what? It still looks good, okay? So here we go. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go in um, with my Mood Struck Eye Primer and just put that all over the lid. I need that mirror for sure, but just taking that Mood Struck Eye Primer all over the lid just a little bit. Uh, make sure you get it in the inner crease or the inner corner. And you want to make sure that you let that eye primer dry because if you do not let it dry it will get a little um a little messy looking so i'm just making sure that it's super super dry and then i'm gonna go in with the color timid and i'm just gonna set pretty much set the eye primer um with the matte color timid it is a peachy matte and I'm just taking that all over the lid and just pretty much setting the eye primer, okay? I'm gonna fix my hair. <laughs> fix the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with palette five and I'm gonna use that purple color and it's actually in the color Fearless, okay? And I'm taking my fluffy blending brush, make sure you blow it off. And I'm just gonna set that in the crease. And I'm just gonna build it up to the color that I want it. And that is the color Fearless in Palette 5. It's just a shimmery purple color. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the color Thankful. It is a bright, bright shimmer blue, and I'm just gonna put it right under that purple, um, kind of blend it up into it just a little bit. And then since I want the purple to show up just a little bit more, I'm going to take a little bit more of it and just blend it just a little bit more into that blue because I really want it to show up. Okay, and then I'm going in with a jet black color. It's in the color Legendary. And I'm just putting it on the, um, the outer corner. Just to give it, um, to smoke it out just a little bit. But that is a pressed shadow in Legendary. And I'm going to blend it just a little bit. We don't want too harsh um, of a line. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite color, Fancy. Now, in the picture, it was a darker blue, but I just have um, the really bright one that I already used, and then I have the Fancy. But I think Fancy um, went on and looked awesome on there. It matched really perfect. Okay, so then I'm just going to kind of blend that crease and that black color just a little bit into the Fancy. Okay, then I'm gonna take the gold from palette five and that's actually called Vindictive. And I'm just gonna put it in the, the inner corners of my eyes just to really brighten those. As you can see, super, super bright, super gold. And I'm just adding a little bit more to the other side. I will bring that gold up just slightly. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the color Pessimistic. It is an oyster gray, um, like a matte. And I'm just going to um, use that for the highlight under my brow, okay? Um, when I have a shimmer eye, I usually will use just a, I will use a matte color under the brow bone. And then I'm going to go in with Thankful again, you guys, with a liner brush. And I'm just going to put that on the um i guess the bottom of my lash line 
I'm going to use that with thankful, which is that blue color. Okay, and I've missed it, but I also went in with, I did thankful on the bottom lash line, and I also did a little bit of that purple fearless on the lash line. I'm going to go ahead and do a dip and draw eyeliner in the color polarized. It's a bright, bright blue, um, and you want to make sure that you are shaking that dip and draw eyeliner. There is a little ball in there, so if you don't hear it, you want to make sure that you hear it, okay, and just shake it. And then we're gonna start the wing. I'm not um, the best at wings, you guys, but I'm getting better, getting better. You all know that practice definitely makes perfect, okay? But this is Dip and Draw Eyeliner in the color Polarized. Um, I recommend everyone to get this color because it is a bright, bright blue and I have never, ever seen an eyeliner in this color and so vibrant. as you could see. And then I will just perfect that. You wanna make sure it let, to let that dry all the way so it does not smear. And now we're going to do our lashes, you guys. I'm gonna use my Epic Mascara, but I'm also gonna use my fibers. Now, when I do the Epic, I will start on the outside lashes um, and really coat those outside lashes with the Epic Mascara, okay? Just the outside. And once you have got those um, outside lashes really covered, take your fibers and roll them up. Roll them up those lashes. And then go ahead and do your inside lashes. Coat those really well with either your Epic Mascara or your Transplanting Gel and then take your fibers and roll them up. Now you do have to um, set those fibers so they do not fall out, but you do not want to set them yet. You wanna make sure they're really dried and adhered to either your transplanting gel or the Epic. So I'm just doing the bottom lashes while I wait for the top um, fibers to adhere, okay? And once um, you think that those top, the top um, fibers have adhered, you can go ahead, you guys, and either um, just put your extra coat of your Epic on or the transplanting gel, whichever you did like to use. And at this point, I was just fixing my brow with my brow liner um, while I was waiting for those fibers to really adhere. And so now I am just taking my Epic and I am just doing the last coat over those fibers so they do not fall out into my eyes. And that is it, you guys. That is how I got this eye. Uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.